Wagner to jump it up. We'll get to the starting lineups as we go along here as the Rockets have possession. And out front, it's Ray J. Dennis with the basketball. Gives it off to Ryan Rollins, and Miami opens up man-to-man. -man. As you take a look at the Rockets there, here's their starting five as J.T. Shoemate has it out top to Raheem Moss, and he throws it away. Moss, Rollins, Milner Jr., Dennis, and Shoemate, the five in the blue-clad Rocket uniform. And Miami will have their first possession off the Rocket turnover, full court. Little man-to-man -man action here by the Rockets. Yeah, something that they'll do. They'll change up their defenses, go full court, go half court. They'll do zone man-to-man. -man. As you said, it's going to be a full court zone press, dropping Matt now into man. Yeah, they came out 1-2-2 two, two zone press, and now man-to-man -man action. Precious Aya, fifth-year senior with the basketball, gives it to the point guard. Makai Larry from 19. He drains it and gets Miami on the board. Yeah, Makai Larry did not score to his, his uh, usual average on Saturday. Good to see him get off on a hot start here. Dean Moss with a basketball out front. It comes to Milner. Now left side, Dennis with the basketball, gives it down low. First touch for Raheem Moss on the baseline, working against Day Day Grant. Gets in the paint, turns and fires. Nice move inside. Raheem Moss, the redshirt freshman from Springfield, ties things up. And that's what we talked about. They do not, they're not a big team, but they like to get into the paint and they will score there. All five players will sc score in the paint consistently. Delonte Brown fires the first three and makes it for Miami. Red Hawks in their loss at Bowling Green on Saturday fired up 44 trays in that contest. Yeah, and that's just that's just too many, honestly. But they, they get one here. Uh, Delonte Brown hits the first one, and it was wide open. And Precious Aya nearly comes up with a steal, but Cedric Milner Jr. checks it down and gets it to Shoemake. 14 to shoot for the Rockets as Dennis to the free throw line and in the lane, throws it to the corner. Rollins with six to shoot, goes to work. Back to the corner it goes. The three is off the mark there by Moss. And the rebound to Delonte Brown, ahead to Maje White. Right to the rack, his shot is blocked by J.T. Shoemate. It's out of bounds, last touched by Toledo, and will stay by with Miami. Yeah, I hope they don't review that one, because I'm not sure that's the, the right call. As you see the block there, and then over the top was, was Precious Aya, but I guess they said it was hit by Shoemate, who was underneath the basket. Looked like Shoemate got the right hand on it as Day Day Grant drives down the lane, reverse layup, swatted away. Grant tries to chase it down, but Moss comes out of there with it for the Rockets. Two blocks by Shoemate in that possession. And Rollins with a smooth move, a little twister down the left side of the lane, gets his first two and brings the Rockets back to within one. Yeah, we talked about how smooth he is in the open court. He needs to get a good look there why he was freshman of the year last year. Kyle Larry behind the back dribble. He'll drive to the baseline, feed to the corner. Day Day Grant open tray, drained for his first bucket. Yeah, Miami now two for two from behind the arc, and uh, he, he actually took two dribbles back to get that shot off. Milner hands the basketball off to Moss on the right side, gets it back there. Works on Precious Aya, puts it on the floor to the left side, gets it to Shoemate for the triple, and it's good. Yeah, I don't know that Shoemate's ever missed a basket, missed a shot in this building. He was 16 of 16 last year against Miami, including 11 of 11 from the field here at Millette in a 33-point game against the Red Hawks. First in the MAC in three-point percentage at 52%. Precious Aya in the paint, triple team, and that'll be a jump ball as he is tied up underneath the basket. That is Ray J. Dennis. Tying up Precious Aya, and on the alternating possession, Miami will have the basketball just uh, three minutes into the first half. Yeah, collapsing defense by the Rockets. They surrounded Aya. Pull-up jumper left side, and Mikhail Larry's two for two. Yeah, Miami has come out shooting red hot here to open the ball game. Three-point lead. Now let's see what they can do on the defensive end if Toledo continues to work into the paint. The weave out front for the Rockets as Dennis gets a screen from Shoemate, gets it back out to him, wide open. Short with that one, and the rebound tapped to Rollins. Pull up 15-footer is money for Ryan Rollins. He has four. Yeah, good opportunity that time by Toledo to get some second-chance points on the offensive rebound. And again, Rollins, he is a three-level scorer right there from mid-range. Monte Brown gives it off to Maje White. He'll fire from 19 off the mark. And that is Moss with the rebound for Toledo. Ahead on the dribble across the timeline. Milner gets it to Rollins in the corner. Coming up on the 16-minute mark, Shoemate fakes the three. Goes to the dribble and gives it back out front. Rollins 
It's Milner working on Maje White into the paint, and he is tied up, and the ball saved out of bounds by Delonte Brown, and the Red Hawks get the turnover off the steal. And Miami with some decent collapsing defense of their own that time to, to cause the turnover. Right side three, and Makai Larry did not have a great game. As you said, Randy, at Bowling Green, he's got seven points to lead Miami right now. Yeah, and Miami has not missed a three-point shot. They are three for three, I believe, so far here in the early going. Nearly a steal by Larry, but Dennis gets by him, puts it up, yes. misses. That was down and came back out. And the Red Hawks on the run. Larry on the right side, deep. Heat check is off the mark. Rebound battled for, and out of there with it is Shoemate. Throwing ahead, this is Milner, and he is fouled by Makai Larry. Hard foul is Cooper Jacoby, freshman out of Sellersburg, Indiana. And Milner will go out. Two-point Miami lead, lots of offense. 1-2-2 two, two zone press once again as Day-Day Grant gets it across the timeline to Kamari Williams, who came in during the timeout, along with James Beck for Miami. Yeah, we talked about Miami needing some third inside scoring. Look for Beck maybe to provide that. Good defense out front by the Rockets. Raheem Moss as he knocks that one out of the hands of Delonte Brown. It'll stay with Miami. 12 to shoot for the Red Hawks. Yeah, we haven't seen the press, the full court press as much from Toledo here early, but now watch them ratchet up the man-to-man the -man a little bit here in the half court. Around the right side, Mikhail Larry, 16-footer is good. The lefty has nine of Miami's 15. We talked about Rollins being a three-level scorer. You can say the same about Mikhail Larry. His mid-range game is as good as anyone in the MAC. Dennis around the right side, working on Larry, trying to bring him down. There's the double team coming. Underneath it goes. Jacoby puts it off the glass, is short with it, and James Beck with the rebound for Miami. Larry leaves it for Day Day Grant. Drops out of the three and knocks it down. Really steps into it. We'll get a whistle and a warning for Day Day Grant. A little flop warning there from the officials as he went down pretty hard. Yeah, didn't look like there was contact on the shot. And I and I hate that call because guys fall down. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just fall down. You're not trying to get a call. We couldn't see it there, but uh, he may have may have uh, came off on the foot or the ankle of the defender and. You know, just because you fall down doesn't mean you did it on purpose sometimes. Shoemate gives it back out to Dennis, who curl, curl to the left side, throws it to the left corner. That is Keyshawn Saunders, gets it back to Dennis. Nice reverse layup with the left hand for Ray J. Dennis. Yeah, Dennis, a transfer from Boise State. He has really come in and given them another shooter, uh, especially with the way they run their offense. He's great at driving into the paint. Delonte Brown throws it to Beck, baseline left side. He's going to back in on Shoemake, get into the paint, drops with a left hand, too strong with it, and the rebound is out of there to Raheem Moss. Moss on the right side out front. Shoemate fires up a deep triple and nails it. He's got his second tray of the ball game back to a two-point Miami lead. And we talked about that game he had a year ago in this building, 33 points, 11 of 11 from the field, and he started off red hot here this evening as well. His shooting range uh, came into view when he hit the Oxford City limits. And that one is changed and <laughs> rattles out on Day Day Grant and out of bounds. It is off of Miami. James Beck laying on the floor was the one to touch it. Coming into the game for the Rockets, four new players. Mihai Karkuna into the game, along with Ryan Rollins. Back for the Delonte Brown will get his first rest as Curtis Harrison IV comes in for Miami. Yeah, Beck asked to be to leave. It looks like I'm, he's stretching on the side. Hopefully it's just a cramp. Yeah, Eli but, McNamara in for Beck. Yeah, but he asked to come out so he could work on his leg. Rollins throws it to the left side to Farmer. Lots of bodies available for both these teams. Pretty healthy on both ends. This is Cedric Milner Jr. in the paint off the glass with the right hand. He scores. He has his fourth point of the ball game, and we are tied at 18. Yeah, just kind of uh, push the freshman down underneath the basket to get that easy layup. Curtis Harrison, the fourth, gets it back to Kamari Williams, putting it on the floor, gives it out top. Isaiah Coleman lands. He's into the game and knocks down his first jumper. Triple out in front, and Miami regains the lead. Yeah, Coleman lands, comes into the game ready to shoot. I mean, he, he's always ready to pull the trigger. 
Farmer driving, pull up 15 footer, rattles around, comes out. Harkana with the rebound, stripped away by Larry and knocked out of bounds. It stays with Toledo. Yeah, again, it's chance for a second chance points for Toledo as they're crashing the offensive boards. Left corner, Saunders with the basketball, gives it out to Rollins. He'll curl to the right side. Defense comes in the to the left side, has the shot rejected. It's going to be a good game tonight, Steve. It is indeed, and the Rockets, as we've mentioned, they are 3-1 and one in conference play. Their only loss coming on the road at Kent in conference play. Seven to shoot. Rollins to the left side. It goes to Milner. He'll put it on the floor. Drives, spins from 14, and knocks it in at the buzzer. Cedric Milner, Jr., now with six for Toledo. Pretty good defense that time by Harrison for the Red Hawks, but Better offense by Milner. That time, he took him way down low the first time. That time, spun around for the fadeaway. Day Day Grant works to the baseline to Coleman Lands. Now, Kamari Williams will tee up a triple. It is off the mark. And the rebound by Curtis Harrison, the fourth. On the block, gives it back out top. Left corner, Day Day Grant thought about a three. Now drives, keeps the dribble, feeds it out top. Coleman lands straight away. Three is off the mark. And the rebound is off Toledo and goes to Miami. Good work underneath by the freshman, Curtis Harrison, the fourth. Yeah, he got one offensive rebound and forced that one off of a Toledo defender. You see a couple of three-pointers missed, and right there, a couple of guys battling Milner, I think, the last to touch it for the Rockets. Dennis Moss and Shoemate back into the game for Toledo here as Day Day Grant will inbound it. Out front left side to Eli McNamara. 11 minutes to go here in the first half. One point Miami advantage. Kamari Williams. Now left side it goes to McNamara working on Shoemate. Back to Isaiah Coleman Lance. Five to shoot. And Coleman Lance bakes. Now steps in and fires. Catches iron, but that's about it as Rollins comes out of there with a rebound and down the floor in a hurry goes Ryan Rollins. The sophomore step back three is off the mark. And the rebound tapped out to Milner. Back to Rollins. Right down the heart of the lane to the basket and scores. Yeah, good job by Shoemate that time, keeping that ball alive for the second chance opportunity. And again, Miami gives up the offensive rebound and a score to the Rockets. First lead for the Toledo Rockets at 22-21. 17 to shoot, left block. This is McNamara. Here comes the double team. Diagonal pass through the hands of Isaiah Coleman. Lands out of bounds, turnover. Gives it to Toledo as Precious Aya, Makai Larry, and Delonte Brown come back into the ball game. Miami's going to extend their defense just a little bit, force Toledo to take some time off the uh, shot clock. Halfway through this first half, Dennis out top with the basketball, gets it to Milner, knocked away by a precious Aya. The big man coast to coast has the shot blocked by Cedric. What a play by Cedric to the right baseline, walking with the basketball is Moss, though. Turnover gives it back to Miami. Yeah, Milner with wow. never gave up on the play. And I think Aya thought by he could wait almost kind of reverse to use the, the rim as a defender, but Milner went around it to get the block. Kyle Larry gives it to Delonte Brown, and then another turnover as Precious Aya comes crashing into the tables here. And the ball out of bounds. It'll go to the Toledo Rockets. Yeah, again, that's two straight possessions where Miami did not protect the basketball. And uh, dead ball turnovers, but still Miami not getting shot opportunity now. Two straight possessions. This is Milner, top of the key. Throws it left side of the key to Moss. Backing in, getting into the paint. Behind, underneath to JT Shoemate for the one-handed dunk. Shoemate now with eight points in the contest, and it's a three-point lead for Toledo. Miami just lost Shoemate coming down the baseline. And uh, a good cut by him to get open. Great find, as a matter of fact. Delonte Brown rises up, fires, and nails it. It's a two for Delonte Brown off the right side. He's got five. And Miami really needed that. A couple of possessions where they didn't get shots off. It was a deep one. It was contested. But Brown, in his, in his element, was able to get it in. Rollins around the screen gets picked up by Aya. Mismatch in speed here, and Rollins on the right wing against Miami's big man. We'll take it right down the heart of the lane. Feeds to the corner. Now the wing. Dennis, three is good. 
great ball movement by the Toledo Rockets. He has five. That is Ray J. Dennis. And the lead is four for Toledo. Yeah, just when you think you're, if you're Miami that you're forcing Toledo to take a bad shot, uh, Ray J. Dennis is wide open behind the arc and gets off an easy shot. Kyle Larry hits Dana Grant on the left side. 15 to shoot for Miami. Down low, Aya faces up on Shoemate. Back to Larry. Out to the right side. And now the right corner, Delonte Brown with eight to shoot. Puts it on the floor, working on Moss. Gives it to Isaiah Coleman Lance. Down the lane to Precious Aya. He's fouled. And will go to the free throw line as Ryan Rollins picks up his first and the team's first. Yeah, just the second combined foul between the two teams in this first half so far. Really letting them play because it's been physical. Good job by Isaiah Coleman lands for Miami to find Precious Aya underneath there. You saw just a little bit of a bump and undercut there by Ryan Rollins. Yeah, they got the mismatch down low. JT Shoemate came out and that put Rollins on Aya. He took him right to the rim. I a fifth year senior from Bayelsa State, New York. Uh, <laughs> Bayelsa State, Nigeria. <laughs> Puts it up and puts it in. He's actually working on his second master's degree at Miami. As you see, Keyshawn Saunders, the junior from Brampton, Ontario, back into the game. As Rollins will go out with 8.02 to play here. A little extra break there for Ryan Rollins by Todd Kowalczyk with the media timeout. Eight under coming up shortly. Second free throw by Aya on the way. That one rattles out and Milner with the rebound. Milner to the right side. Aya picks him up. Lobs it out to Dennis. And Kyle Larry on him defensively. Back out front it goes. Miami stays man to man. Shoemate three is no good. And the rebound to Larry for Miami. They had a pretty good look. Brown got there, but late. Day Day Grant open look at a triple off the right side is no good. And the rebound again cleared by Milner for Toledo. Quickly down the floor goes Cedric Milner Jr. Down the lane off the glass. Too strong. Rebound underneath is knocked away from Moss and picked up by Miami. Larry feeding right side and through. Plus, didn't didn't miss a shot until late in the game. He missed a free throw. Ended up with 33 points. That was a career high. And uh, he's gotten off to another hot start here this evening. Shumay with the basketball. Hits Milner out front. Now there's Rollins back in the game. He handles on the right side. 14 to shoot for Toledo, coming up on seven minutes to go here in the half. Milner having an outstanding first half, goes to work against Aya, lost the handle, gets it to Saunders on the left wing. He'll drive, here's Dennis on the right side, spinning down the lane, little scoop is up at the buzzer and good. Yeah, it looked like Larry, I think Larry thought he had him pretty well defended out by the three-point line, but Dennis was able to get him down on the block and just scoop the ball up and over him. Five-point lead for the Rockets. Kai Larry straight away lefty look at a three is short Milner with another rebound Miami's gone cold and the Rockets been taking advantage Dennis again with a nice handle on the right side but he lost it off his foot there picked up by Aya for the Red Hawks yeah it looked like Dennis was gonna have a free uh, lane to the rim but just as you said dribbled it off of his foot Monte Brown finds Day Day Grant on the left side. He'll put it on the floor to the basket. Reverse layup is no good, and Shoemate grabs the rebound for Toledo. Another minute gone by. It's been a while since Miami scored as Rollins got the nice speed but lost it, but is fouled going to the basket, and the foul is on Miami's Coleman Lands. Isaiah Coleman Lands picks up his first, only the second team foul, but all of the fouls here tonight have been shooting fouls, and this time Ryan Rollins, 83% from the line on the season, is there to shoot two for Toledo. Yeah, that was a great job by, by Dennis to see the opening that, was, that Rollins was creating by streaking down that left-hand side. E.J. Farmer comes back into the game for Toledo, and Todd Kowalczyk as Dennis will go out and into the game for Miami. Our Avance is in for the first time. Second free throw, good. That's eight in the game for Ryan Rollins. And now and the we lead see is now seven. Yeah, now we see some full court press here uh, against this uh, Red Hawk lineup with Avance in there. Let's see how the freshman's able to handle it. And he turns it over, thrown away, and Farmer takes it down the lane, knocked away, but picked up and put back in by Keyshawn Saunders. 
Yeah, and again, that's what Toledo do, does. They will just back up, back up all game, and then all of a sudden they're going to put the press on. This time they'll problems. get a foul, reaching around from behind. E.J. Farmer collects his first, team's first, second, that is, against Toledo. As Cooper Jacoby back up off the bench, he's coming in for Toledo. Milner will head to the sideline. Cedric Milner Jr. had a great first half going, six points in the game. Average is 13 and a half for the Rockets. Yeah, this is a lineup for Miami. They're going to have to try and get the ball if they can down low to Brown, let him work. Working against Jacoby, baseline right. Steps back, now gives it out to Coleman Lands to the left corner. Mar Avance fakes, gives it down low on the block to Curtis Harrison. Gets it back, eight to shoot. Avance for three, off the glass, no good. Curtis Harrison puts the shoulder down with the right hand, is able to get it up and in. The freshman out of Cincinnati gets his first two and first basket in a while for Miami. It had been a 6-0 run by the Rockets. Yeah, good work by the freshman, as you said, getting the offensive rebound, his second of the game, and then be being able to get the basket up and in. Saunders had it knocked away, had to chase it down, gets it to Shoemake. Rollins with 12 to shoot, got by his man, drives with the left hand, a little floater off the glass and in for Ryan Rollins. He's got 10. Yeah, I don't know how you stop that play. He's, he's able to get around you, long strides to the basket, and then he rises so high above you and just kind of drops it in. Left side, Coleman lands, works around the screen to the left elbow. Back out front, four and a half minutes to go here in the half, and the Rockets have turned it on in the second half of this half. Down the lane, feeding to the corner. There's Coleman lands for three, and he hits it. He's got six in the game on a couple of triples. Good ball movement that time by Miami. They went side to side, and then eventually were able to kick it out for the wide open jumper. Kobe gives it out top to Rollins. Four minutes to go in a half. Rollins on the drive. Left side of the key gives it out top to Shoemake. Shoemake keeps the dribble and lost the handle on it and gets the ball back in the paint. Turns, fires, is too strong with it. And Miami's Isaiah Coleman lands, comes down with a rebound. Yeah, Miami a little bit of a break because that's a shot that Shoemake's not going to miss very often. Coleman Lands gives it out to Harrison. Now to the right side, Avance. A couple of freshmen working the two-man game. Gives it back to Delonte Brown. Larry stepping back between the circles. Left side. Guarded by Farmer. Crossover dribble. Gets by him. Back to the left side. Eight-footer is good. Makai Larry's first basket in a while. He's got 11. Yeah, and that, that's what he does, right? He blows you to sleep with the dribble out top. And then his quickness is able to get an open jumper in the lane. Three minutes to go here, and Miami back to within four in the first half. Ball is loose and picked up and thrown. Shoemate able to get it just before it crosses center court. Left side, eight to shoot for Rollins. Now Shoemate, he's going to fake, give it back to Rollins. Deep water three, left side is good for Ryan Rollins. He's got 13. Big, big bucket for the Toledo Rockets. Yeah, Toledo looked like they were in trouble. They lost the ball up near half court, but they were, and that's a, the, the sign of a well-coached team. They stay composed, and they got a, an open jumper out of it. Never any doubt that that shot was going down for Ryan Rollins when it left his hand. 15 to shoot here for Miami as Coleman Lands works off the double team to Delonte Brown. 10 to shoot, working against Jacoby to the top of the key. Throws it down low on the left side. Three to shoot. Deep off the left side. Shot is blocked. And they grant. Miami trying to find some offense here. Down by seven. Rockets with the basketball. And it'll be Ray J. Dennis to bring it up. Milner back into the game along with Raheem Moss. And it's Dennis working the left side down low. Setner. Cedric Milner, that is, with the basketball, and he misses, and the rebound is out to Precious Eye. Excuse me there on the mispronunciation. A minute 47 to go here in the first half as Delonte Brown has the basketball out front to Precious Eye. Looks down low, finds Delonte Brown. They lost him, and that'll be no good as Brown touched it in the cylinder. It was going to go, roll in, but Delonte Brown got a hand up there and caught the net and the cylinder. Yep, you can see there it is going to drop in, but both he and Shoemate were up near the rim, and I think Brown had his actually inside the inside the net, and that's what they called the uh, basket interference. In 
Left side, Shoemate is open for the triple, and it's good. Yeah, he is such a smooth shooter, and that was a perfect release. And again, nobody around him when he caught that basketball. Largest lead of the night for Toledo is at 10 as Dane Grant gets all the way to the basket, throws it up off the glass and scores. That's eight in the game for Dane Grant. Yeah, Grant's been working really hard for those eight points, and he was able that time to get the reverse layup, but a, a strong effort that time by the junior. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Dennis gives it out front to Rollins. Hassled by Maje White. Back it goes to Shoemate. Shoemate and Rollins each in double digits in this game. And Rollins drives. Lost the handle on it. And Maje White is the last to touch it as it goes out of bounds. Good defense and a battle down the left side of the lane between White and Rollins. Yeah, and that time you see Rollins gave up a little bit of space to him, but was able to get the hand in and strip it away. Milner with a basketball right side against Dyer, right to the baseline, to the basket, high off the glass and in. Cedric Milner Jr. with eight. And again, that's the way Toledo runs their offense. Nobody is posting up in the paint. They have all five guys on the perimeter, but they drive into the lane when there's just a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And they get the foul on Aya, his first, team's third, and Milner at the line for the third time. He's two for two tonight. Chance for the old-fashioned three-point play try as Rollins goes out. Kai Larry back in for Miami for Maje White. And an opportunity if he makes this free throw to give Toledo their largest lead of the game. Rocket shooting 58.6% from the field in this contest. Milner knocks down the free throw. Nine in the game for him. And that's what they did against Northern Illinois on Saturday as well. They shot the ball extremely well from all over the court. Full court pressure once again. Day Day Grant approaches the timeline, avoids the trap, and gets it to Makai Larry. Now they'll back into the man, man, man to man will the Rockets. Five second differential between game clock and shot clock. Shot blocked. Nice job by Raheem Moss. Coming across the lane, and he swats it away. Timeout. Kona. It is Mihai Karkona, and he is not in the game right now. He will play later for the Rockets. Ten seconds to shoot here. Rollins gives it off to Dennis. Zone defense by Miami. Rollins fakes, drives, little hang, fire, no good. And a charge is called with 4.1 seconds to go. Rollins picks up his second foul. And that was a case of run shots, and they don't turn the ball over. Full court pressure here. Miami has 4.1 seconds to shoot. Inbounds to Mikhail Larry. Leaves it left side. Day Day Grant, deep three at the... And that's why they're consistently one of the better teams in the MAC year and in, year out. And giving this team credit because this is not the same system that we've seen over the last several years from Toledo. You mentioned a four around one, almost five guys outside. They don't have that patented big that they've been able to go to as they've had in the past. Ryan Rollins is a big part of that five around one as he takes it in, misses. Rebound chased down by Makai Larry for Miami. Larry will pull up off the right side of the key and begin things where he left them off, scoring the first points of the second half. Yeah, and that's a good sign for Miami to run some pretty good defense at one end and then transition to the other end, and you get that mid-range jumper from Makai Larry, and he is is so much about, about momentum, and he's got it early here in the second half. Rollins holds out front, now gives it off to Moss, and a big pass underneath to Milner on the right block against Aya. Backing in with a right shoulder, goes up, Aya with the block, and the rebound pulled down again by Precious Aya. Ahead it goes to Delonte Brown. Good look, no look pass from Makai Larry to Delonte Brown, and he finds him, and he lays it up and in. That is Delonte Brown for his seventh point. Yeah, good pass, but how about the hands of Delonte Brown? Because that ball, I think, was tipped yeah, slightly. Was. He still hung on to it to get the layup. Minute 15 gone by, 5-0 here in the second half for Miami as Rollins tries to change that as he's got the ball left side against Day Day Grant. Step back three, yep. And Ryan Rollins, 16 points in the game for Toledo. Back to a 10-point advantage for the Rockets. Yeah, you, you cannot give him an inch because he will be able to get that shot off or he'll drive around you. You have to be very cognizant of where he is at all times. Larry goes down low to Delonte Brown, fakes off the glass, yes, and one. Yeah, and we talked about it. Miami had to go back inside. Now they've done it. That's two straight layups. Now one on the fast break, but two straight layups for Delonte Brown here. The pump fake, and he got him up, and that's what they weren't doing in the first half. They're getting their shots blocked. Good pump fake, and then delivers for, for Brown. Delonte Brown at the line for the end. One Cedric Milner Jr. picks up the foul. The junior out of Little Rock, Arkansas's first. Team's first to the half. Delonte Brown at the line this season. 78%, and he knocks it down. He's in double digits with 10.
Yeah, that's big for them again to get to the free throw line, be aggressive down low against this smaller Toledo lineup. Moss hands it off to Dennis around a shoemade screen. Red Hawks switch on that and they give it to Milner now to the left side Moss. Shoemate can't take the pass from Moss, let him a little too far, and the Rockets turn it over. They haven't done it much here in this ball game, only their seventh turnover of the game, and yeah. Miami has the basketball. And there you can see Toledo was so anxious to get the ball down to Shoemate because he had the, the advantage on a smaller player, and they, they just didn't take care of the basketball. Larry works to the right side of the floor, to the left corner. Delonte Brown thought about the three. Milner out to cover. He'll put it on the floor, step back from 19, and hit it just inside the line. It's a two for Delonte Brown, who now has 12 in the game. Yeah, three for three from the field here to start the second half for Delonte Brown. He obviously uh, come, came out of the locker room with some fire in his eyes. Miami playing a little bit of a zone as driving in is Moss, and his shot is rejected by Isle right into the hands of Maje White. Turns on the jet, little finger roll is good. First basket for Maje White, and the Red Hawks are within three. Yeah, and that's two blocks here early in the second half for Precious Isle on the defensive end. Dennis across the timeline, works to the left side, and now back to the top of the key. Ryan Rollins to Shoemate against Larry. Turns, fires, misses, and Aya taps the rebound to Delonte Brown. Miami a chance to tie with a three. Good job by Aya to block off Milder away from the rebound. Larry throws the ball away, tried to get Day Day Grant cutting, and here's Dennis ahead with a basketball. Reverse layup, no good, and Delonte Brown. Now check that Day Day Grant with the rebound as Delonte Brown changed the shot. Brown, deep water three straight away as an air ball. Heat check shot. Wasn't even close to being hot. Yeah, that, that, that was not a good shot by Delonte Brown. You can wow. see him shaking his head. He knows that that was one he did not need to deliver. And we're, we're going to have a timeout, I think, a, an injury timeout. Yeah. I believe Milner is bleeding from his lip. And uh, he's going to have to go get some work done at the sideline. <laughs> that one was taken from South Quad. I'm telling <laughs> you, it was, it was deep. And that's just, that can be a momentum killer. You know, you have everything going, both defense, transition to the offense, and then you throw up a shot like that, and it, it really can be a momentum killer. So we'll have to see if Miami can uh, can just wipe that away from their memory and, and play some defense here and get another another um, stop and a chance to tie it again. Just an injury timeout, as you see, the medical trainer for the athletic trainer, that is, for the Toledo Rockets, put a little cotton in the right side of the nose there for Cedric Milner, Jr. And now Toledo will have the basketball, 16-32 to play in the game. It's interesting with that run, you know, this is, a, a, you know, a coach like Coach Kowalczyk, you know, some coaches would have called a timeout at right. some point to try and stop the momentum. He's, like, he, he's letting his players try and work through it. And nearly a steal, and that'll be a foul on Mikhail Larry reaching in there. No doubt about that call. That'll be Larry's second foul, team's first to the half. Yeah, they have for the most part let him play, and, and if it's it's got to be obvious for them to call it, and you, there was definitely a bump there from Larry going for the steal. Dennis will inbound it down to our left here. Is it into Rollins now? Top of the key, Moss right back to Rollins. Shoemate working on Day Day Grant into a double team into the corner. Finds Rollins on the left wing with 10 to shoot. He'll put it on the floor. And the ball knocked away into the hands of Maje White. Three on two. Maje White, finger roll blocked and tapped around. And Precious Aya gets fouled and will go to the free throw line. What an effort again by Milner to get back and get that block. I think White thought he had an easy two, and Milner out of nowhere gets the block. As you see again, Larry, lots of contact there. As you mentioned, they let him play. White down the lane, and just a great job by Cedric Milner Jr. to get a fingertip on that. But Aya comes up with the rebound and will go to the free throw line. One of two for the senior. On the night, he gets two chances here. First one on the way, and good. Amy has outscored the Rockets 12-3 thus far here in the second half, four minutes in. And Aya again being aggressive as he gets those free throws because he went hard for the offensive rebound. 13 threes the run for Miami as Dennis brings it across the timeline to the right side, all the way to the baseline, feeding Moss for an easy deuce. Block to block pass. And in this system that Toledo runs, if you want to get 
get shots, you need to work without the basketball. And that's exactly what Moss did. He started on the backside and got wide open underneath. And a steal there for Toledo as they bring it up. Again, it's Dennis working the right side to the baseline, feeding to the wing. Milner thought about it, now pulls the trigger on a three. It's off the mark. And Delonte Brown with a board for Miami. Yeah, obviously Miller did not want to pull the trigger, but Miami did not come out to challenge him, so he took the shot and actually worked to the Red Hawks' favor. In the window for a timeout here, but both these teams going in to end right now. Not many turnovers as Larry Bryce finger roll scores. 15 in the game and back to a one-point rocket advantage. Yeah, that time Larry went with the right hand. He faked it to the left, went to the right hand to get the finger roll. Dennis will try and drive. Shot blocked by Milner. Saunders back in for the Rockets as well. Yeah, so a little bit of a smaller, quicker lineup for Toledo. And of course, then they're going to go with the press and try and work, make Miami work a little bit harder on the offensive end. Off the made free throw, they work the press and then back into the man to man. Isaiah Coleman lands into the game for Miami, hands it out to Makai Larry, and now MyJ White gives it to Day Day Grant. He'll go to work against Saunders, steps back. Three is good for Day Day Grant. He's got 11. Yeah, that was a great step back. They had to uh, um, know the fact that he can take it to the hole, but instead he got his defender to lean backwards, be off balance, and then shoot over him. Dennis between the circles gives it to Shoemate. He's guarded by Dane A. Grant. Backing his way to the right side of the key. Got Grant Airborne. Feeds Moss, who will try a three left side. It is long in the rebound to Larry for Miami. Red Hawks chance to take the lead. Dade A. Grant goes down low, working underneath. This is Aya off the glass. He gets it, and Miami has the lead. His first field goal, fifth point of the game for Precious Aya, and the Red Hawks lead. Yeah, again, we talked about the bigs for Miami needing to be aggressive around the rim. You saw him take the ball to the hole, the pump fake, and the basket. Dennis got a little bump. He misses the shot. Rebound tapped out into the hands of Moss, spinning down the lane. He's going to lean in and get the roll. Raheem Moss with six in the game. Good patient offense that time by Moss. He's able to work Maje White down into the paint and then just muscled it up through him. Rockets back out in front by one, 13-28 to go. Good ball game here tonight, Day Day Grant. Aya sets the screen and Grant fires the three. It's long off the flange and Jacoby with the rebound. Yeah, Toledo will let him shoot that shot. That was a, a shot a little bit beyond his range and contested. And lost underneath by Moss and Dennis working the right side and threw the ball away. Tried to get it to Saunders on the right baseline and Mikhail Larry is bent double. Uh, he took a knee to the wrong place underneath the basket. He's trying to breathe Tried a little to bit. Tried to get in there and uh, come in for a block and Mar Avance will come in and Give Mikhail Larry a chance to go to the bench and rest for a moment or two. And now with Avance into the game and Isaiah Coleman lands, you're going to see Toledo again really ramp up that pressure, try and force not only Miami to take time off the clock, but also try and force a turnover. Day Day Grant takes the inbounds pass. He's going to work it up the floor and get it, and that'll be a, actually stepped on the sideline out of bounds as the Rockets force the turnover. Rollins on this near sideline forced Day Day Grant to step on the sideline and the Rockets get the ball back. Yeah, and that's exactly what they wanted to do there. You just see that right there, that second step uh, just past the half court line was, was on the white of the sideline. Just under 13 minutes to go. Rockets with a one point lead as Dennis works to the left side on the baseline, knocked away off the backside by Mar Avance into the hands of Day Day Grant. Grant working to the left side, and that'll be a foul. Believe they'll get Dennis for this one. A little body from Ray J. Dennis, his first, team's third, as Dennis will go to the sidelines and back into the game for the Rockets. E.J. Farmer, freshman out of Cleveland, Ohio, 6'4. And now Toledo has put Moss on Day Day Grant. He's their best defender. And one of the better defenders in the MAC. Let's see if they can uh, stop Day Day from getting a shot. Day Day works against Moss down low, left side. Delonte Brown off the double team to Grant. He feeds it to the right side, wide open. Isaiah Coleman lands said, "Let me be that wide open every time." Yeah, and you, we know how well he can shoot it. Good patience by Miami. Work the left side of the court, then find the wide open on the right side. Rollins right to the basket on the left side. He's got another hoop. He's got 18 in the game. 
tied at 56. Yeah, and Miami just didn't get back defensively. They did not recognize the ball coming up the left side of the floor. Day-Day Grant, top of the key. Look at the three. It is no good, and quick shot as Jack Owens shows a little bit of frustration out, out there on the bench for Miami. Yep, that one was forced a little bit. Moss left alone. They give it to Shoemate. He'll try the three. It's short. And Maje White with a rebound for Miami. Doesn't have the numbers, but pushes anyway. We'll leave it for Coleman Lands on the left side. Right side. Avance for three. It's strong. And the rebound bounces out to Rollins. Here come the Rockets. Four on three. Rollins left side. He'll pull back. Throw up a three. Miss it. Long rebound to Dede Grand. A baseball pass ahead to Maje White. He will leave it for Avance off the glass and in. Yeah, what a great look that time up the floor by Dade Grant. I wasn't sure it was going to get there. Good hands at the other end, and they get the layup. You say a softball pass. That was more like a laser up the floor from Dade Grant. Milner between the circles. Hits Rollins left side under 11 to go. As they throw it to Shoemate, he'll put it on the floor. Gets fouled by Dade Grant and will go to the line for two when we come back. J.T. Shoemate at the line, the junior out of Newark, Ohio, 82% free throw shooter. His first chance from the charity stripe tonight is up and good. The one difference here in the second half, Toledo has cooled off a little bit from the floor yeah. and stayed red hot from the line, but uh, not shooting quite as well from the floor as they were in the first half. Rockets are perfect from the line tonight. Now 8 of 8 as Shoemate ties it up there with his 13th point. Shaziah out there along with Delonte Brown, Maje White, Isaiah Coleman lands with the basketball out there, and Day Day Grant out there as well. This is White giving it up to Day Day Grant with 18 to shoot. Isaiah Coleman lands, turns off the screen, is short with it, and the rebound tapped out. Saunders brings it down for Toledo. Chance for the Rockets to regain the lead as Saunders gives it out top to Carcona. Kona gives it off to the right side to Rollins. He'll pull the trigger on a three. It's long, and the rebound is out to Delonte Brown. As Maje White battling Carcona underneath the basket. Delonte Brown working against Rollins on the baseline. Out front to White. Now Day-Day Grant works around a screen. Instead drives to the baseline. He hangs and walks with the basketball. Had nowhere to go with it. Good defense there by Keyshawn Saunders, the junior out of Brampton, Ontario, staying right with Day Day Grant as Makai Larry comes back into the game for Miami, replacing Grant. Yeah, he didn't have anything to do with the basketball. I think he also bobbled it a little bit and uh, couldn't control it, came down before he released it. Dennis brings the ball up the floor. Ray J. Dennis, the junior out of Pinkfield, Illinois, Boise State transfer. As he'll get it back out between the circles. Carcona sets the screen to the right side. Rollins going to work against White. Now Milner Jr. with a touch to Dennis on the baseline left side. Back it goes to Milner, eight to shoot. Milner working, got by Aya. Nice move, but Aya comes back and has the block. Unbelievable defense. At least three in the second half now for Aya. Isaiah Coleman lands, works the right side. Precious Aya got beat and makes up for it. 9.28 to go, and a great one here in Oxford. Tie ball game. 10 to shoot is... Makai Larry gets a screen to the right side against Milner. Thought about it, now gives it off to Isaiah Coleman. Lands driving, no good. Rebound, that ball never caught iron. Yeah. Ball will go to the Rockets as JT Shoemate comes back in for Mihai Carcona. As you see the block there by Precious Aya. Yeah, great stutter step that time by, by Toledo. And Milner got around him because of that, but he made up the ground, did Aya, and got a perfect block from behind. Saunders gives it to Milner on the left side, working against Aya again. Trying to hook his way around, now leaning in. Nowhere to go, leans in again with a left hand, throws up an air ball, but on the weak side, there is JT Shoemate for the putback. He's got 15. Yeah, and, and Precious Aya is really dejected. Great defense by him, individual defense. Nobody checked out on the weak side, and an easy two on the putback by Shoemate. Larry works out top to Isaiah Coleman lands. Back out top to Larry, right side, Maje White to Delonte Brown. There is Larry rising up for the three, no good, and the rebound tapped out by Aya to the Redhawks. 
And Hawks reset with 8.17 to go. Two-point advantage for Toledo. Larry working around the screen to the left side. Delonte Brown, deep three is off the mark. And Rollins with the rebound. Nice box out by Milner that time on Aya. Rollins driving all the way through. Swatted out of bounds again. So the ball out of bounds. No foul is called. And the Rockets get it inside to Dennis. Little floater is up. No good. Tap up. No good. Rebound tapped out to Rollins. Left side, Milner will pull the trigger on a triple. It is long, and the rebound is out to Delonte Brown for Miami. Yeah, a couple of good opportunities that time by Toledo. They just could not get the shot down, and Shoemate had the easiest one on the tip, but again, it just rolled off the rim. Red Hawks taking their time on the offensive end as Delonte Brown gives it out to Aya. He will look to get it to Larry in the corner. He'll pull the trigger on a triple. It is short. Rebound taps over the iron to Dennis, who runs it down for the Rockets. Milner leaning in, and that Travel. will be a charge. Yep, leaned in with that left shoulder, and the charge is on Milner, his second, and the team's fourth. Yeah, I thought they might even call it travel before the contact, yeah. but either way, it was uh, good defense again by Aya putting himself in a position to take that charge. And again, look at it here, and you see the little lean in by Cedric Milner, Jr. And again, he was moving, but he had had his defensive he had the position. position set. Yeah. Yep. If you're Miami, though, on the offensive end, they've just been, I think, have gotten a little bit too three happy here the last couple of minutes. That's all they're doing is is shooting from behind the arc. I'd like to see what they started the half with is getting the ball down low. The full court pressure. Miami beats it with Isaiah Coleman lands across the timeline. He'll hand it out to Larry with 20 to shoot. Coming up on seven minutes to go in a ball game where the Rockets have a two point advantage. Larry works around the screen to the right side. Keeps the dribble behind the back to the elbow to Delonte Brown. Cedric Milner picks him up with seven to shoot. Out front, Isaiah Coleman lands, rises up. Deep three is off the mark. And Rollins with the rebound for Toledo. Rollins will again get ahead to Shoemate to the left corner. Dennis open, look at a three is off the mark. And the rebound and the foul will be called against Miami's Isaiah Coleman lands. Yeah, kind of undercut that time. Uh, Moss and it's called on the foul. Day Day Grant returns for the Miami Red Hawks. Isaiah Coleman lands will go out. Dennis gets it into Milner as the Rockets have it. 20 to shoot, fresh 20. Shoe made at the right elbow against Day Day Grant. It's a little bit of a push and then gives it out to Rollins. Rollins will cross to the left side. Fire from 17, bounces out on him. And Larry with the rebound, running the other way for the Red Hawks. He's going to pull up. 15-footer is up, no good. And the rebound to Mil Milner. Miami has gone ice cold, and the Rockets haven't really been able to take advantage of it. Yeah, that's a good shot, though. I like that one. They were able to run it up the floor, get a shot in his range, just couldn't get it down that time for Makai Larry. Lobbing it down to Rollins on the right block. Double team there. They'll get it out top. Milner will tee up a straightaway three. And it's good. Cedric Milner Jr. now 15 points in the game, and the lead is five. And again, that three-pointer was in the flow of the offense, and it was wide open. Miami did not put a defender out there on Milner that far away from the hoop. Larry throwing underneath, tried to get it underneath, and great defense by Raheem Moss. Comes up with a steal for Toledo. Yeah, stepped in front. I don't think Larry saw him coming from the opposite corner. Dennis off the right side, five and a half minutes to go, and the Rockets lead it by five. Milner again out front to Dennis. Gets it now to Rollins. Left side toward the corner against Maje White. Going to back him in, into the paint, out top. Milner will drive, has it knocked away, but a foul will be called against Miami's Maje White reaching in. Yeah, and White did a really good job against Rollins, not allowing him to get in the lane, and then he tried to help. And you see here, he just steps across on the reach-in foul. Got him across the arm, and a three to shoot. Miami commits a foul. And the Rockets get a fresh 20. Dennis inbounds it to Milner. Coming up on five minutes to go. Rockets a five-point lead. As Shoemate at the free throw line rises up, and is too strong with that one. Precious Io with the rebound for Miami. Right side, Maje White down low on the right side to Delonte Brown. Double teamed in the corner, steps through it, puts up a floater and got it with a right hand. Off balance, 14 in the game for Delonte Brown. 
Yeah, and that, and that time, as you said, he was able to split the defense. I wasn't wasn't sure what he was going to do with the basketball. Was able to get that off sh off um, balance leaner to go. Moss works the right side, bounces it down low to Milner on the baseline against Aya. He'll put it on the floor, lean in, tries to lean in with that right shoulder, goes up and under and gets it down. Cedric Milner, Jr., 17 points in the game, back to a five-point rocket advantage. Yeah, Milner just finds a way. It's not always the prettiest, but he finds a way to get an opening, to get a shot up, and more times than not, we'll get it to go in. He's been the go-to guy here over the last couple of possessions for Toledo. As Makai Larry has it top of the key, works against Dennis. The left side, Brown. Nine to shoot as Larry takes the ball back. He's going to drive all the way to the basket and Ooh. is fouled. Coming into the game, fires up the second one and gets them both. He's got 17 in the game for Miami as the lead goes back to three for Toledo. Dennis gives it off. Saunders back into the game. He has it out to Milner. Dennis working against Larry. They go down low. Rollins off the glass, no good, but he'll go to the free throw line for two. As the foul on Majay White will be his second and the team's fifth. Rockets. Perfect from the line tonight, eight of eight. Rollins is two of two from the line. Yeah, one of the few times here in the second half that Rollins has gotten loose away from Majay White, and uh, they had to foul him, but uh, he just has not had an open shot, any easy shot here in the second half, and credit the Miami defense for that. 19 in the game now for Rollins as he makes the first one. As Moss returns, Raheem Moss returns to the lineup. Saunders goes out for Toledo, 3.39 to go, Rollins. Second free throw is up, and the Rockets remain perfect. A 10 for 10 night from the line for Toledo. And that'll win you some ball games. Yes. If, you, if you can shoot free throws that well consistently, that's going to win you some ball games for sure. Crossover dribble. Day Day Grant top of the key with it now. He'll drive to the right elbow. 15 footer is good for Day Day Grant. He's got 13. Yeah, right in the face of the best defend defender for Toledo Moss. And, and Day Day, you know, that time he just decided to take it upon himself to get that bucket. Dennis across the timeline, hassled by Larry. Rollins working off the screen, gets the basketball on the left side. Working to the wing against Maje White. Crossover dribble, pull up 16 footers, good. Ryan Rollins says, give me the ball, coach. I'm ready to play. And that's what you had at either end, the best offensive player of the team versus the best defender on the other team. And both times, the offensive player won. 22 in the game as Day Day Grant tried to go down low to Delonte Brown. Moss got a hand on it. But with 8.48 to go, Rockets led it 60-58. They haven't given up that lead since that point. And he's got it to within two a couple of times as they find Precious Aya all alone underneath the basket. They try to double team Larry, and he finds Aya for an easy two as he's got seven in the game. And again, I like that Miami going inside first. They'll find some threes, but I want they need to to probe the interior of the defense first. Shoemate baseline right side working on Day Day Grant, spinning his way to the basket and scoring. Shoemate now with 17. Yeah, just a size advantage there. He's able to force Day Day down low. Miami's put a smaller guy on him in the second half. For the most part, it's worked okay, but there he used his brute strength to get the basket. Day Day Grant step back. Three is good off the right side. He's got 16, and Day Day Grant came down hard. Two-point lead as yeah, and, and Jack Day Owens complaining that and I'm not they sure didn't if he, have a foul on the play. I'm not sure if he came down on the defender's foot, and that's what he's holding his knee, it looks like. But Jack Owens talking with Bill Lack on the sideline. And a look at it here, the step back. And, yep, he came right down on the foot of the defender who yeah. undercut a little bit. They're jumping right at him, and I think they went knee to knee as well. And Jack Owens wasn't at all happy that there wasn't a foul call on it. But it, but to the play itself, when a yeah. good open shot by Day Day Grant, he was able to get it down, and Miami stays within striking distance. Two point lead for the Rockets as Ryan Rollins right side blows to the left of ICL. Isaiah Coleman lands, Milner misses the three, and the rebound falls right into the hands of Raheem Moss for the Rockets. Moss has a tendency to come out of nowhere yeah. to get the basketball, either on the defensive end or there for the offensive rebound. Rollins gets a screen to the basket off the glass, too strong, and Delonte Brown with a rebound. Two-point ball game ahead to Nene Grant. 
Grant working around against Mullock. Clock for the Red Hawks. So Miami, a minute 25 to go with the basketball. Makai Larry has it. He's got Dennis on him defensively. Aya sets the screen. Shoemate picks him up. Back to the left side. Day Day Grant for three. And it's off the mark and rebound by Ryan Rollins for Toledo. Miami got a good shot out of it. Day Day Grant has such a quick release. Just couldn't get it to go. Timeout taken by Todd Kowalczyk and the Rockets. A minute pound. It'll be. Ray J. Dennis to inbound it for Toledo. Ryan Rollins comes and gets the basketball. Rollins has Isaiah Coleman lands on him. On the dribble to the left side. Spins it out top to Milner. Thought about the three. Puts it on the floor. Pulls up from 10. Too strong with it. And the rebound out to Precious Aya. 50 seconds to go. And Miami will get a quick timeout. And we'll see if they want to go two. Possession arrow favors Miami. Should that come into play? Kyle Larry takes the basketball and we are back to action. Two point rocket lead as Larry crosses to the left side, keeps the dribble top of the key to Delonte Brown. Shoemate on him. Down low to Aya. Comes out to Larry to the right side. And, McC and actually, Isaiah Coleman land shot was blocked with 30 seconds to go. Precious Aya fouls Ray J. Dennis. Yeah, Rollins came out and I think. Isaiah Clinton Lance thought he had a play. little bit more time. Yeah. It was Rollins here you see stepping up to get the shot block. I tell you, that's that's the biggest play of the night from Ryan Rollins, who still has 22 points for the Rockets, but that is a huge play for Ryan Rollins. And how about these two teams combining for 17, or uh, excuse me, for uh, 16 blocks on the night for Miami, mm. 19 blocks. That's just two off the school record. Dennis at the line, connects on the free throw, makes it a three-point ball game. And this is where that ability to shoot free throws comes in into play. They have not missed a free throw yet this evening, and they've been shooting at a really high clip all season. Dennis 72%. Teams usually shoot 76%, which is good for fourth in the Mid-American Conference. And he makes them both two-possession ball game. Day-Day Grant drives. Feeds out top to Larry, now to Coleman lands. 18 seconds to go. Larry pops up, fires, misses, rebound. Precious Aya battling. Looking to get the ball in, and they do to Delonte Brown, and he throws the ball away. Was going to fire the three and had nowhere to go with it, and with five seconds to go, Precious Aya will commit a foul on Dennis, and that'll do it. 3.3 seconds to go. Aya commits his third foul, and... Ray J. Dennis will go to the free throw line and shoot to one and one and can end this thing for the Toledo Rockets with 3.3 seconds to go. Yeah, credit Toledo, great defense great on, defense on, on the inbound. Day Day Grant. Didn't, he wanted to shoot the ball immediately, yep. had a defender right in his face, he couldn't get it off, and he ended up just dropping the ball because he knew if he didn't, he would get called for a travel. Free throw by Dennis continues the perfect night at the free throw line for Toledo. Now 13 of 13 from the line. And really a huge difference in this ball game. Second one on the way and good. That is 11 in the game for A.J. Dennis. And it's a six-point ball game as Delonte Brown looking down the floor with 3.3 seconds to go. Will inbound the ball to Isaiah Coleman lands, turns, fires, hits the three. And with .3 seconds to go, it's a three-point ball game. And all they do will in, Toledo just needs to inbounds it and they get it in. 